Wicked Gamer and Collector Time. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. It's just awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, I want to talk about the Neo Geo from SNK. So, but first we're going to talk about, I did some chit chatting regarding the MVS consoleized system. Also a great way to play original SNK games. But there are so many ways to play nowadays. Bringing us to the Neo Geo AES. It's a great way to play Neo Geo games, but it is freaking expensive. But it is really cool. So that brings us to the Neo Geo CD. Another way to play and to collect Neo Geo games. Released in 1994 in Japan. So the Neo Geo CD hit the market. After making the AES system, they produced the Neo Geo CD very quickly because the competition or and other companies were moving to a different format. Realizing that the old format they were using like this gigantic cartridge, it looks pretty cool nowadays and I really love it. But at the end, getting the games on a CD is so much cheaper to make and give the gamer an option to buy these awesome games and basically nowadays collect them. So in the short time period they did release quite some Neo Geo games and even some games that are never released on the AES system, but we will talk about it later. But back in the day there were some flaws if it comes to the Neo Geo CD. So but let's talk about the experience in general. I think having this like a disc based system back in the 90s it was pretty unique because discs were not used very often. For example with the Mega CD we had this option. But I don't know if you look at it nowadays the Neo Geo CD I really prefer the retro old school but gigantic cartridges. But at the end, the Neo Geo CD games are very fun to collect nowadays. But I think it's pretty cool if it comes to Neo Geo CD collecting that it still has a lot of unique games that I've never seen before on MVS or AES. So if you're interested in the Neo Geo CD, there are quite some awesome games out there. For example, this Japanese RPG game from Samurai Shadow is pretty cool to play. But it is released on different formats like PlayStation 1. But the Neo Geo CD is a quite awesome product to collect nowadays. But keep in mind, the games can be a little bit cheaper to buy, but some are still freaking expensive. Play games was very easy. The discs were very durable. And with all the other systems like we know of, like the PlayStation 1, it's just basic. Put in the disc and ready to load up. But with a load of feature, here was the biggest problem and the biggest flaw of the Neo Geo CD if you ask me. So when it comes to the loading time, these were very long, but I must say there were some difference between games. Some games needed to load up longer than the other one. Playing around with the Neo Geo, realizing that we have quite some different loading times. But it was compared with the PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn, nothing special. The only difference there were with, let's say, the first generation Neo Geo CD and the PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn were the disc speed. So the loading times were a little bit faster. For example, the Neo Geo CD, the original one, has a an 1 speed and the PlayStation 1 and the Sega Saturn had a 2 speed drives. But they fixed it with the Neo Geo Z version. But we're going to talk about it a little bit more and I'm going to show you what are the differences. What you're seeing here is the Neo Geo CD original game system with one speed CD drive and as you can see the loading times were very long sometimes with some games. We did release a couple of different Neo Geo CD versions, for example the CD Frontloader. 
So with the front loader this wasn't the solution because with the new competition coming to the market they needed to have a solution for the slow loading speed. So they released the new Neo Geo CDZ system also on top loader again and it had let's say a little bit better loading times. Maybe Nintendo was still using cartridges but the new competition are also using disc based systems and these were way faster than the first generation of Neo Geo CD systems. Even with the new Neo Geo CD set they had faster loading times but they couldn't compete. Well, let's go back to the Neo Geo CD where this video all started because there was a lot of other stuff that is very positive. So let's talk about the controls and the way how you can play Neo Geo because I think this is something that is personally very appealing to me and maybe to you. So let's talk about the controls because I think that is pretty interesting. As you can see we are having three control models over here but we are going to tell you which one it comes with the Neo Geo CD. Let's talk about the first one at the right bottom. The first version of the Neo Geo. I must say these were the controls that came with the AES systems and this was something that is personally very appealing to me, very cool having this original arcade feeling at home with a real arcade joystick. Then they did a redesign of this joystick and bring us this model. So let's take a close look at this version first. So this was one of the Neo Geo CD controllers or it's more like a redesign of the first model. It's still a little bit clunky and it plays a little bit different if you look at the first model. But at the end I think this is something that is pretty damn awesome if it comes to the Neo Geo franchise. Giving you arcade at home. And even with the Neo Geo CD this combination is pretty cool. So playing even with the model number 2 arcade stick. It plays very nice and gives me this, let's say, arcade feeling. The joystick itself is super responsive, but the buttons are not the buttons you can find in your arcade, of course. But still, even there are just basic membrane buttons, they play very well. So they wanted to give us more of this home console feeling. And if it's not s &K, they needed to do something differently compared with the competition. So they bring us these very unique... I must say comfortable controllers with a mini little at the left an arcade stick. But there was a little bit of a downside because you really need to get used to this controller in general because this was not your typical controller. But last but not least let's talk about the Neo Geo CD games. What are we going to get if you want to get into collecting these awesome games? Let's talk about not the loading time because we know the loading times are here and are sometimes very long. But how it comes to the quality if you're going to collect a CD game. In general if it comes to the gameplay and experience compared with the arcade game it's exactly the same. There are some minor differences for example with the later games like Art of Fighting 3. For example the CD version has cutscenes and the arcade doesn't have this. Or the zoom in zoom out function some of these games have are not available on the CD version. But I have with a couple of versions but in general the arcade experience is still here and that is pretty damn awesome. And final if you want to collect new Geo CD it can be a little bit cheaper if you look at some pricings of games. For example there are games that are in around the 15 euro price range and on the AES around the 70. But don't get me wrong. Neo Geo CD can be very expensive and the prices of the CD versions are very high. So even the CD is not cheap to collect on. The Neo Geo CD, is this thing worth your money and is it fun to collect? If it's worth your money, that is something you need to decide for yourself. I really love Neo Geo but there are some big cons to this system. The biggest positive thing I can think of is that the games are very cheap to buy if you compare it with the MBS and especially the AES. But if you manage to find an SNK Neo Geo CD system, so far I understand the consoles are very expensive like all the other models. I think the only thing that is cheap are the games in general. But then we having the shitty loading times. So I really love the Neo Geo CD what it is. And a little shout out to my buddy Neil Gunlock because he borrowed me this system to make a review and to make this video for you. 
So let me know what you think of the new Geo CD. Maybe you're already owning one or do you want to have one? So this is what you're going to get with the new Geo CD. I think it's a really cool collectible. It's expensive and it's just for the people who really are into Neo Geo. Some games can be cheaper than the MVS and AES versions. But keep in mind, even if it comes to collecting the games, the prices can go crazy. And that is something we just need to live with if it comes to Neo Geo. I want to thank you for watching. It's just awesome that you're tuning in. And would be great to have you in the Wicked family, so consider subscribing, hit the little bell, get your notification from YouTube when I'm uploading a new video, and it would be great to have you here, and that means I will see you in the next video.